My name is Jim McGeehan, and I just want to spend a few minutes with you to talk about a product that uh, is very popular. It's our Dynatrack Free Spin Kit. We get a lot of phone calls about this kit, even though it's been out for a very, very long time. So I wanted to spend just a one or two minutes with you to explain what it's all about, why it's important to you, what benefits it has, and why you should get one. First thing, let's take a look at what's on your truck now. If you have a Ford three-quarter ton, Dodge three-quarter ton, or one-ton truck, this is the unit bearing or front wheel bearing assembly that is in your vehicle. This one is actually off of a Dodge. The Ford one is a little bit different in that it has a snout here and does accept a locking hub. The Dodge does not take a locking hub. So what happens here is this is the part that your wheel is bolted to and your brake rotor and it's constantly rotating with the front wheel. This is where the axle shaft engages to, so it's also turning all the time when your wheels are spinning down the highway. So that creates a lot of friction inside the axle. It also rotates the front drive shaft, creates some noise, vibration, and harshness, and it creates a lot of wear, costs you fuel economy, and so we wanted to eliminate that to give you a smoother, quieter ride, and also save you some diesel fuel. This uh, wheel bearing assembly, as you can see on the back, we've taken this one apart. Normally these do not come apart. Uh, the way it goes together is this would be a race assembly. It's actually kind of considered the, the wheel hub, if you will. Uh, and then this is the bearing that would go in the back of this. This is normally all pressed together. It's peened over so you can't disassemble it. But what I wanted to point out here is two things. One, when the bearings are all pressed together, they're very close together. This one would come all the way down. So the tire has a lot of leverage on these two bearings that are so close together. The, if you have a big tire, it puts a lot of extra load on these two bearings. The other problem is that the seals are not replaceable or serviceable. So if any contamination gets inside, it generates a great deal of heat and the cages that keep the rollers in place are made out of plastic. The problem is that the plastic, once it gets hot enough, it melts and then all the rollers fall out of place and basically it, it immobilizes your vehicle on the side of the road. Now that we've seen what the factory wheel bearing assembly looks like, let's take a look at the Dynatrack free spin kit that solves some of the problems that we just mentioned. First of all, this is a completely different design. Uh, we have a fixed spindle that's bolted to the knuckle that does not rotate. This one rotates because it's just a display, but normally this does not rotate. The rotor and the wheel bolt to the wheel hub and that whole assembly rotates. What makes this different from the stock wheel bearing is that this has a manual locking hub that allows the wheel to turn freely but not turn the axle shaft. So you can see that uh, the axle shaft would normally be sitting still as we're going down the road and this piece would be rotating around. And when I go off road and I need four wheel drive, I can just simply turn this knob and then quickly it locks into place and now I've got completely locked four wheel drive to propel my front tires while I'm driving in off road conditions. Let's take a look at some of the key components of the Dynatrack free spin kit. First of all, we're extremely flattered at how many people are imitating this kit today. This has been one of our best sellers and whenever you have something that's doing really well, you're going to invite a lot of people to try to imitate it. This is the only free spin kit that is made in the United States. None of the other kits available on the market are made here in the USA. Everything that you see in the kit is also made in the USA. This is a nodular hub. It's made in a Midwest foundry by good union dues paying folks. and We're very happy with the quality of work that they do for us. It's a great, great relationship that we have with them. Some of the other components, Timken wheel bearings, the very best in the business, also made here in the United States. This is a tone ring. It's made by Dynatrack here in the United States. Seals and other hardware, also all made here in the United States. This is an axle shaft. We make it from our own forgings right here in the United States. Uh, it's a solid piece of chrome molly steel. It's double heat treated. It's precision machined. It's the best that money can buy. These are some seals that keep moisture and contamination from getting inside and attacking our wheel bearings. You'll notice that these wheel bearings, unlike the stock ones, do have metal cages. These are also completely rebuildable. You can buy these bearings, races, and seals at any auto parts store across the nation and even around the world. You can easily install them and replace them at home. And if you had to, you could also do that on the side of the road, but fortunately it won't be necessary. We've got forged wheel studs. We also have a complete one-piece forged spindle. This is also solid chrome molly steel made right here in the United States with United States made materials. 
Uh, we machine these right here at Dynatrack, and they're also heat treated and machined a second time for precision. This is one of the most attractive pieces of our kit, the Dynalock Locking Hub. This is also another product that's been imitated by a great number of people. We're very flattered about that, but the quality in those other products just isn't there. Not only that, ours again, all 100% made in the USA. It's the only hub like it that's made here in the United States. It has a unique interlocking tooth design that gives a great deal of strength that I showed you before and will not break or fail. This is three times stronger than a worn locking hub. Worn is a great product, but we needed something that was also stronger comes with all the miscellaneous hardware and components to make it work and also a, a aluminum bezel, a, a aluminum knob and a steel bezel uh, to give it strength and durability in case you scrape it against a rock.